in a passage from the lectures and conversations as he is turning from his earlier to his later work Wittgenstein attacked the reductionist approach of Freud Wittgenstein proposes a thought experiment what if we took red path here and we cooked him down in an oven and we're left with ash would that be the essence of who this is right here well no now say okay well that didn't work we're gonna get the water out of you you're three-fifths water right why would an oven that reduces you to ash or reduces you to water not give us the essence of what you are well a human being is complex situation that is not reducible to a single element and that is like your understandings of apples not being reduced to a single ordered concept or like all of your practices with bicycles or apples or anything in life being reduced to a single element as opposed to an interweaving of several simple elements that are simple enough you can recognize them as individual things the properties of carbon or water do not in themselves explain the interaction of the properties of water and carbon or how human beings behave or what they mean to us carbon and water are heavily involved in everything we do but if we cook people down to ashes or water we have destroyed the complex situation and can no longer investigate how they work and if i took the dna out of a couple of your cells shook it in water that would hardly be a substitute for you at a social gathering would it as i say with the fallacy of composition and division if you say hey eric come to the party i send you my cut off thumb that is very disturbing that is me it's a part of me it's just another part of me or michael jackson but at the same time that's not me at the party the way you asked for it so in the same way freud boils human thought and behavior down to sex technically as sort of sex and violence freud actually claims when lightning struck fire would occur on the earth and early man wanted to pee it out because it was a sexual urge and i think there would be a lot more fire peeing websites if that were the case but basically the first man to keep it in his uh loincloth and take the fire home was the first originator of civilization and technology so essentially tucking and redirecting sex energy into something else or death energy is all of men doing civilization and anything scientific for freud or anything technological well that means everything is effectively sex right well wittgenstein asks what would freud say is the secret meaning of an openly sexual dream more secret sex i mean does sex mean sex does it mean violence what does it mean and then there's sugar and then there's spices alice says oh if only people knew sugar was what made people sweet and then the duchess comes along and moralizes poorly and alice is like those are foolish rules those don't work well no rules like sugar always makes people sweet sometimes it gives people diabetes sugar doesn't always make people sweet happiness isn't always nice sex isn't always good or bad or procreative or not like none of that is completely true wittgenstein says we have to avoid the lure of the secret seller in scooby-doo every episode of a tv show you figure out what happened you figure out the villain the mask comes off aha i would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you lousy teenagers and then everything's solved and now we go on what wittgenstein is saying is freud wants everything to boil down to sex and violence well they're very important maybe the janitor's a really important character but what if somebody lured the janitor slightly into doing the act then revealing the janitor under the mask doesn't tell you everything about everything does it we are constantly boiling things down in words we can't completely that is the lure of the secret seller for me to describe everything i meant in this lecture in words would be an impossible task for me to describe a bare room with nothing in it in words alone including the temperature and all the lighting would be an impossible task we can never fully describe our own motives we cannot fully describe what a clarinet sounds like we do not need to because it is several elements interwoven and the oven does not simply cook us down to ash or water